Hi everyone. Good afternoon. How are you all doing? Happy weekend. I hope we all are doing great. Please guys invite and join me. Let's discuss as usual. Join me guys. Please invite, share this video, please. Share, 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 and let's discuss. Please, guys, join me. Join me, join me, join me. Join me, please. Let's discuss. Good evening, good afternoon, depends wherever you are watching from. Is your girl, your sister. Thank you guys for coming, stopping by. So let me show you guys first this amazing product that is doing wonders. It's called Juice Plus. It's an amazing product. It's saving life, guys. So tomorrow... I will be doing live video on these products. I will be telling you guys all about it. That will be tomorrow evening after church. So today, we are going to be talking about one of our sister who is in um, Highlands. Good evening, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate. Thank you all. Mr. Mark Kanu. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. So, guys, today I would like us to to discuss about one of our sister who is in an island. So, she was married before. I'm going to read what she sent, but it's really long, you know, so I'm going to cut out some place. So, she said, Good day, madam. My name is Chioma. I am from Cross River State. I was 28 years old when I first married. A year later, my husband brought me to the UK. My husband is also from my place. His family didn't want him to marry me at first because they said my elder sister was in marriage for 12 years without a child. And the same thing happened to my younger sister. So they were afraid that the same fate might fall me. But he didn't listen to his family. He went ahead and married me. It was so unfortunate that what happened to my elder sister and my younger sister also happened to me. Wow. Eight years into our marriage, we have no child. We visited so many hospitals, different doctors, so many native medicine. None of them worked. Even the doctor suggested that we go for an IVF, but my husband refused and said that he knew of a couple who did it but failed. I tried to convince him that we are different and it might work for us, but he still refused. Then I gave up on IVF. One morning after breakfast, my husband called and said, that he can no longer wait for me to conceive. I then asked him, what else do you want me to do? He said he was bold enough to tell me that I have to go and try another man while him too we go for another woman. Wow. 
I even told him to go and take a second wife who can give him a child but refused. He insisted that I must go. Even though he hurt me so much when he said I should go, but that was one thing I love about him. He don't know how to pretend. Always say his mind no matter what. I feel like hanging myself because he is everything a woman wants. In these eight years of marriage, I have no reason to regret why I married him. He's so lovely, caring, hardworking, respectful. Above all, he's so cute. Wow. I cry for days, begging him to let me stay and take a second wife that will give him a child. But he said no, that I must go. He said he's the only son of his family, and his family is on his neck, which I know about his family started to complain two years after our marriage. You know we Africans, whenever something like this happens, people think it's always the woman's fault. Hmm, that is true, you know, people think it's always the woman's fault. In my case, it was worse because my sisters had the same problem. None of his family ever liked me. I can't call any of his family member. They always insult me because I was unable to give their brother a child. They call me so many names. So I have to give up and let him go. So we fight for divorce. A year later, he married and had a baby boy. Wow. Then I know that I was really the cause why we were unable to have children for the eight years we were together. Oh, that is very sad, you know. Very, very sad. So, I'm going to cut out some parts where she said she got into another relationship, you know. She got into another relationship two years after she was divorced from her first husband. You know, the second relationship, he said the man wanted to go and pay a bra price. She refused. They only did introduction. So, he said he, she told the man everything about her past marriage. And the man said no problem, that he's not even in a hurry to have children. That's when the time comes, they will look for solution to their problem together. You understand? But little did she know that the man is already having children behind her back with some other woman in France. So, she got to know about it when the second child was about to celebrate a year birthday. So, she was forced to leave that relationship as well. So then, a best friend now called and said she should come to Ireland. She now moved to Ireland. A friend asked her to join her in Ireland, you know. So she said that, uh, my friend and her husband really tried for me. They took me like a sister and a family. They consoled me. They made me to recover quickly. And I appreciate them very much. I spent four months in their house before I got an apartment for myself. They didn't even wanted me to leave, but I had to force my friend to allow me. Oh, So four months later, my friend called and said she wanted to travel to Nigeria. That I, she would like me to come and stay with her family because her husband lived the house to work early morning and will come back always come back late in the evening so she will need someone that will be at home with her children so i agree i said no problem a day to the day she traveled i moved to their house the next day she left so i started to perform the motherly duty to 
her kids, taking them to school, bringing them back, preparing their meal, putting them asleep and all that. Two weeks later, after dropping the kids at school, a friend of mine called me that she had a twins. I was happy and I was also sad. I was asking God, when is it going to be my turn? So I started thinking. I went home, entered into my room, and I started drinking. I later fell asleep. And the next thing I see myself naked. Beside me was my best friend, husband. And I asked him what he was doing on my bed. And he said he was sorry that he was not feeling fine at work. So he decided to come home. So when he got home, he decided to check on me in my room. And he find, wow, he says he find her half naked. Oh. And he could resist her. Huh? Oh, oh. He said he's really sorry that he took advantage of her drunkness. I didn't know what to tell him. So I left to my house. He came to my place and started to beg me to forgive to forgive him that if I don't want his wife, that he don't want his wife to know what happened between them. I told him I had forgiven him because of my friend, but I don't want to go back to their house. He said if I don't come back to their house, the wife and the children might ask questions. They might find out what happened between them. So, I don't want my, husband, my friend to have problem with her husband. So, I decide to go back. I was there until my friend returned from Africa. Then, I left to my home. Two months, I didn't see my monthly flu. I didn't bother because this had happened to me severally. But the third month... I fainted at the supermarket and I was rushed to the hospital. And the doctor confirmed that I was 10 months, that she was 10 months pregnant. Wow. <laughs> I was, I didn't believe the doctor. I asked the doctor, what did you say? The doctor said that she is 10 weeks pregnant. She told the doctor that the doctor don't know what she's saying. That she has been married for eight years and she was unable to conceive, not even for once, not even miscarriage, you know. She entered another uh, relationship, not even miscarriage. So why now? The doctor said, yes, madam, you are 10 weeks pregnant. You should be happy. So I said to the doctor, it's easy for you to say because you don't know where I'm coming from. So my best friend came to the hospital and she asked what was wrong with me. I have to lie to her. I told her the doctor said that I think too much. That is just stress. She told me, my friends, you have to take everything easy. You don't need to think too much. All is going to be okay someday. I told her, thank you, my friend. So I was discharged from the hospital a week later. Now, I am so confused because I don't know what to do with this pregnancy. I am now 42 years old. No husband, no boyfriend, but now I'm pregnant for my best friend husband. What do I do? Please help. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow. So, guys, these are Sister Chioma. She's in Highland. Right now, she's pregnant for her best friend's husband. So.
And she says she's 42 years already. No child. Please, my beautiful people, please, we need your assistance as usual. Your advice, your contribution. What do you think our sister Shoma should do in this uh, present condition? You know? Hello, Olaji Day. Thank you for joining us. Thank you all, guys. I appreciate every one of you. Please, let's help our sister Chioma. A word of advice, please. Anything, anything, anything. Please, guys. What will you advise her to do if she were to be your friend or a sister? You know? After eight years marriage, she was divorced. Then she later got into another relationship which lasted for two years. And the man was having children with another woman behind her back in France. So she later left the second relationship. And her best friend advised her to move to Ireland. So she was in Ireland, you know. Her friend and her husband help her to recover quickly, you know. So, she said that four months later, the friend traveled to Nigeria and asked her to move into her house just to help her with her family, you know, her children, before she will return. Now, this is what happened. She is pregnant for the best friend's husband. So, what do you advise do you guys think an abortion will be the best option? Or she should have the baby? What do you guys think? Please, anything, 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 guys. Any advice. Anything, guys. We well, appreciate it. Please, guys. Let's help our sister. Please, please, please. Please, guys, what do you think? Wow. You know, to hurt a friend who was there for you in her time is not good at all. You know, it's not a good thing to do, you know. So, what do you guys think this her sister should do? Do you think she should keep the baby? But if she keep the baby, will the secret remain a secret forever? Because she is trying to keep the secret so that her friend will not know what happened between her and her husband. Wish I... I... I like her, you know, because she appreciates what her friend had did, did for her when she was in pain, you know. So she don't want to hurt the friend or make to break the friend marriage. You know, this time, this kind of thing can break a home, you know. So, what do you guys think? Please, please, please. Leave your comments, your contribution, your advice for our sister Shoma. Anything, anything, anything will be appreciated. Please, guys, just help us out. Please. Well, for me, number one, I would not advise her to abort the baby. It's a crime, you know, and it's a sin before God. I will not advise her. Number two, she's already 42 years. 42 years, you know. And it's because of inability for her to get pregnant that made her to lose her first marriage. Now she's pregnant. I would advise, I would advise her to keep 
the baby don't abort that baby no matter what don't abort it uh, I know this secret might not remain forever it might not remain forever you know it might not remain forever uh, but it's really difficult it's difficult what do you guys think please help me out let help our sister anything anything guys anything do you guys think that abortion would be the best the best thing for her to do or keeping the baby Oof. I feel for the lady as well you know I feel for her but this very one the husband the guy the man involved you know took an advantage of her because she was drunk so the man took an advantage of her then this is what happened so if this woman were to be your sister or your friend which advice will you advise her what will you tell her to do will you tell her to go and abort the baby or will you tell her to keep the baby she says she's very confused she don't know what to do well my advice i would say that um sister chairman you should keep the pregnancy keep the pregnancy number two i know your friend is still going to know about it someday you know it might not be now but later she might know about it that is very very possible you know so i will advise keep the child maybe it would be a good idea for you to change you might move to another state i think moving to another state you know maybe later after having the baby it might be good that you told you know call your friend and tell her everything that happened between you and her husband it's not going to be easy you know but you still have to tell her but for now keep the baby i will advise you to move out of that state move to another state after having the baby then you cannot tell your friend what happened between you and her husband i know it hurt she might forgive you i think hearing it from you she might know that yeah it wasn't your fault for you to tell her it wasn't your fault you know so she might forgive that is just my little advice i won't advise you to have an abortion okay I will not advise you to have an abortion. I think you should have the baby. You should have the baby. But it will be better if you if you can relocate to an, it will be better for you to relocate to another state. So that is just my little advice for our sister Choma. Who is pregnant for her husband uh, for her best friend husband and she don't know what to do so so guys any contribution any advice for our sister Choma leave it below the comment section anything anything any advice will help help us out guys anything 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 please guys please 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 let's help our sister chairman this is really really tough you know i know 
this is very very hard very hard time for her it's not easy you know please guys help us out leave your comments your contribution anything 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 for our sister choma please 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 so what do you think is the best thing for her to do i don't So guys, you can still leave your comments. You can still leave your comment below the comment section. You can call. There is phone number there. Anything for a sister. Anything, anything. So I said that uh, she should keep the baby. She should keep the baby. Abortion. Is not an option at all. I don't support abortion. You know, you should keep the pregnancy, then relocate to another state. I know it's not easy, but I think that might be the best option for her. Then why she can now settle down and find the right time to talk to her husband, um, her friend, what happened between her, her and uh, her husband. So that is my advice. For her sister so if anybody have anything to contribute to this please you can leave it below the comment section so guys before we go I just want to tell tell you guys about our amazing product use plus it's an amazing product guys it's a life-saving product so I will be coming on live tomorrow evening after church with a very good friend friend of mine who has been in the business for so long. You know, she has used the product and the product worked very well for her. So tomorrow we are going to be doing live video for this product, guys. It's a life-saving product. Very, very wonderful product. It works, it works very well. So tomorrow I will be telling you guys all about it. All you know, all you need to know about this product, I'll be telling you guys tomorrow. Okay, brother Daniel, he said that uh, I think she should keep the baby. Yeah, that is what I said, you know. He should keep the baby. You are right, my brother, you know. A woman who is already 42 years old. So going for an abortion at this old age is not a notion at all. I support you, my brother. I think that is the best option for her. Keep the baby, you know, keep the baby, you know. So guys, thank you very, very much for staying with me today. You can still leave your comment below the comment section. You can still leave it there, guys. You can still leave it. You can still leave it, okay? You can still leave it. So remember, guys, tomorrow, I will love you guys to join me tomorrow. Let's talk about this product that is doing amazing. Amazing work, guys. You know, this product is wonderful. Tomorrow, we are going to be talking about this product. Thank you all so much for staying with me. God bless you all, guys. Have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.